talk about my homeboy Bruce Lee man right and on this video yo shout out to my nigga Wub Bloom by the way too cuz he the one who was talking about this on the phone with me earlier today yo peep this out right I reading this this shit is old but like I just was you know I felt like they assaulted my homeboy Bruce Lee man um I was on this website right um, what's the name of this shit? I, I sent a link up and everything on, on the video, man. But peep this shit out, right? Yo. These people say that could any real man be the chimpanzee, right? Because, you know, the chimpanzees supposed to be, like, super strong. And, like, they can rip a nigga face off, all kind of shit. You know, big-ass chimpanzees. They were saying that a man humanly possible couldn't whip, like, a chimpanzee ass and all this shit, right? But, I saw some of the takes of Bruce Lee training and shit. He just don't any man. But anyway, let's read the homo shit they say about my nigga Bruce Lee. Okay, now, they say Bruce Lee in his prime be an enraged chance. Could Bruce Lee be the enraged uh, chimpanzee in a fight? And they say, my friend and I are disputing in a light recent uh, NYT article describing a chimp attack in... It is pretty clear that an enraged chimpanzee is extremely dangerous and strong. I think there is no questioning that an average chimpanzee is much more powerful than an average human, which is true. And they say, but what about a top human fighter? Someone who has trained extensively and is established fighting forms. Could at any unarmed man top martial arts fighter such as Bruce Lee stand a chance? And they say, I am not trying to make light of the sad story. What happened was terrible, but this conversation with my friend does not make me wonder what the limits of human strength and agility are. How much exactly can training and study increase hu uh, human ability? Would it be enough to allow a human to feed off a large, wild, vicious animal? I suppose I would like anyone's speculation, though I would love to hear from those with the martial arts background. And it said, is Bruce Lee, is it Bruce, do Bruce Lee, okay, say do do Bruce knows who's going to fight an enraged ch chimpanzee? And it say, uh, you heard of man versus beast, right? Okay, now, this is my whole argument with this thing. They're trying to say that ain't no way in fuck that Bruce Lee could beat a goddamn enraged chimpanzee. Now, I ain't gonna lie. It would be hard, because don't have regular tank, like, ooh, 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 and they jump up in your face and shit, and can swipe your head off and shit with one uh, stroke. True. True, true, true. But, I'm not trying to give, like, a man all this power and no shit like that, but, yo, Bruce Lee was a fast fighter that could adapt to a lot of situations, and I ain't gonna lie, a lot of people couldn't even fuck with Bruce Lee, dog, like, straight up. I'm not even bullshitting. Um, if you think I'm bullshitting, go look at uh, Bruce Lee one inch punch. He did a one inch punch where he just go like this and the motherfucker flew back. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, Bruce Lee was a little small, scrawny dude. But let me tell you, this nigga had so much power in his punches and his kicks. Um, this motherfucker kicked a 300 pound punching bag. Right? And made it fly off and the shit busted open. That's how much power this little dude had, man. Because he actually, when he was skinny, all his shit was actual real muscle. He had hardly no body fat whatsoever. If y'all think I'm bullshitting, just look Bruce Lee up, man. Now, I know chimpanzees are strong and they got human, like more than human, uh, more than a possible human strength. But Bruce Lee just want any old dude. I know that if the chimpanzee jumped at Bruce Lee, like he was going to fuck him up. And Bruce Lee went, wah! And like did the kick like that. And stunned that motherfucker like right in his shit. That chimpanzee would have flew the fuck back and broke his fucking arm at the same time when Bruce Lee kicked his ass. I know that shit. Because Bruce Lee had so much power. When Bruce Lee was on the set for End of the Dragon. He kicked Bob Wall so fucking hard into that crowd. You know when you see him fight that white dude. And he fucking went, that's a famous, uh... Or a martial artist named Bob Wall. He could fight. He could fight his ass off too. But Bruce, then they had Patton on that thing. Bruce Lee kicked this motherfucker so hard. You know he fell into those crowd of people that you see in the dragon. He flew 
threw it to that motherfucking crowd so hard that got them the dudes that caught Bob Wall for flying further. The nigga broke his arm, one nigga broke his uh foot, and the other dude broke his leg or some shit, right? But they trying to say that can't no man be the chimpanzee. And I I mean under the circumstances, I would say probably no. But with Bruce Lee, I can't say that shit. Because Bruce Lee was the type of motherfucker. He knew how to adapt to any fighting situation he was in. You know what I'm saying? So, his techniques was more like philosophy than like a martial arts. But he pushed his body to the limits, man. And like, I haven't seen no other fighter. I mean, I wasn't even born when Bruce Lee was. You know what I'm saying? Or I, even when he died, I wasn't even thought of a born yet. But just looking at this man and seeing this shit that he do... I know this dude could fuck somebody up. I don't give a fuck. Any of these dudes that's out here doing my shots now or doing any of that shit now, yo, Bruce Lee and his prime will put a lot of these motherfuckers to shame. And they knew it. Bruce Lee will put a lot of these motherfuckers to shame. So, you ask me, do I think Bruce Lee could beat a chimpanzee? Fuck yeah. Bruce Lee will beat the shit out of that goddamn, ch ch goddamn chimpanzee. Look. Motherfuckers always run around with these t-shirts saying, Chuck Norris can do this, Chuck Norris can do that. Don't get me wrong. I like Chuck Norris. I like Chuck Norris. He's a good dude. But I know Chuck Norris ain't fucking with no Bruce Lee. Now, if Chuck Norris ain't fucking with no Bruce Lee, and he supposed to be the baddest nigga around, what the fuck, man? You think a chimpanzee is going to fuck with Bruce Lee up? Man, Bruce Lee adapting with that chimpanzee ass, too. I know he would. You know what I'm saying? That's just what I want to take on this look. I know I'm probably going to have mad people saying crazy shit to me because I'm doing this silly ass video, but I do not give a flying fuck. I feel like that Bruce Lee whoop in those dudes ass anytime, yo, in his prime. Bruce Lee was alive, a lot of these martial artists wouldn't be doing half of the shit they doing now. That's real talk, man. And I was pissed off because I was looking at this website, right? Yo, I'm going to tell you what fucked my head up even more. What fucked my head up even more than that shit there? Is I was looking at these dudes talk about the top martial arts schools, right? I mean, top like type of martial arts, right? Like all around the world. And what fucked my head up was G Kondo wasn't even like rated in this shit. And I was just like, but well, see, I can understand that in a way because G Kondo. It depends on how you was taught. And see, Jeet Kune Do, Bruce Lee taught everybody how to be their own person. And with Jeet Kune Do, um, you could train the way you wanted to train. And you, it's about building your own body up. So in a way, I could see that. But if Bruce Lee was to teach Jeet Kune Do, and he, all, he stuck to it, his techniques would be a lot of these motherfucking techniques out there now, man. And I'm not saying that just because it's Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee just knew how to, he knew, he was a dirty fighter. He was, it wasn't known, his, his, my shots were known for sparring and shit like that. It was known for just whipping your ass and fucking you up. Bite a motherfucker, scream, hit a nigga, do whatever fuck you gotta do to win. I love that shit. But oh, he got the top little martial artist that these motherfuckers to say it was. Kickboxing was number 10. Um, let me see. Karate is number 9, which I fought a dude that knew karate and I did Taekwondo, which is the Korean form of karate. I whooped that dude ass. Because I used to take Taekwondo. I whooped this dude ass, yo. Like, a long time ago. No bullshit. This dude did karate. And I did Taekwondo. I whooped this ass, yo. But I ain't gonna lie. I mixed my fucking uh, martial arts with street fighting. So that's why I probably was a little bit more deadlier than that dude was. He just knew about that tournament. And one point, two point shit. I was a dirty fighter. Because I already knew how to fight from when I was little. And I used to get my ass kicked by this boy all the time. My mom and dad taught me how to fight. So then, then when I went to the martial arts class, I even got more even better. But I haven't took martial arts since I was like, what, 13? But I'm just saying, I still remember a lot of this shit. But I just don't practice it like that all the time no more. Hey, yo. Ho hey, yo. I'm going to call you right back, yo. Hey, let me finish this YouTube video I'm doing with this camera shit out with, with right quick, all right? Yeah, I'm doing this shit right now. I'm talking about Bruce Lee and shit. But I'm going to hit you back. The who? But the who though? Who are you addressing that to? Nah, I ain't addressing it to nobody. I just wanted to say that shit. <laughs> you 
was a dumb motherfucker. But y'all meet you back as soon as I'm done with this video, though, all right? Look, y'all know me by now. When I do my videos, I don't really cut shit out. So, yeah. Sorry about that. Um, what the fuck? Hold on. I was just at that shit. Hold on, hold on. Damn. I just lost the goddamn thing, man. Hold up. Look, I'm gonna start it up in a little minute, like, just give me some time. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to wait for my little slow-ass phone to bring the shit back up. So, hold on. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now we at number eight, right? Now they say number eight was Aikido, which I could see because Aikido is a deadly ass art. Like Aikido is a shit like it mostly works on like you trying to attack a person, and when you attack a person, they take your own their arms and pull them. More like what Steven Seagal did. That was like Aikido. So I could see that being a deadly art. Um, they got Wing Chun up here as number seven. You know what I'm saying? Uh, excuse me, I don't edit shit out, so excuse me for my bird. But uh, yeah, uh, that was a deadly uh, Wing Chun, which got Bruce Lee face up there as, as the goddamn dude too. Yeah, y'all can't probably can't see that, but it got Bruce Lee face up there, right? Go cool, motherfucking figure. But anyway, but that wasn't Bruce Lee style though. I mean, he learned from that, but that wasn't his style he developed. Jiu Jitsu is number six, which I can't front. Jiu Jitsu is pretty damn good. Actually, in my opinion, I could be wrong, but I think Jiu-Jitsu should have been, like, number one. Because I haven't seen hardly anybody that fuck with Horace Gracie. Not saying that because a dude make a style. That's what I'm saying. I'm just saying if a white person do any technique, any technique can be good if you know how to use it. I don't give a fuck who you are or what style it is. Ain't no such thing to me as a best style. Because there's any style that can outbeat. And it, it, could be, it could be me going against a dude. Let's say, let's just say I'm a hell of a uh, Jiu-Jitsu expert. And I go and get some motherfucker that no grappling. But if that nigga is better than me at it, he's gonna whip my ass, right? Go fucking figure. So it don't matter about how like how good the art is. It's about the person that's using the art. That's what y'all gotta learn. Like I always say in my videos, be your own fucking person. But I can't agree with this chart saying this is the best martial arts all around. Um, hold up. I thought they said G Kundo went up here. G Kundo is up here. Hey, see, motherfuckers are lied to me already. But. I guess ain't no point of me going further with this shit. Western boxing is also a deadly art. Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Oh, that should have been number one. But anyway, let me see. Uh, then some shit called, uh, which I don't know. It's called, uh, was it, Keezy Fighting Method? Never heard of that shit. I don't even know what the hell that is. I don't know how deadly that is and what. I don't even know what the hell that is. Know what I'm saying? But I think Kempo, to be real with you, I think Kempo should have been up here. Because Kempo is a deadly ass art too. But anyways, you know, my point that I wanted to make about this whole thing is, y'all motherfuckers really underestimated Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee was so bad that a lot of motherfuckers could not fuck with him, yo. Like, real talk. A lot of people could not fuck with Bruce Lee. And they fucking knew that shit. Oh, this is a real sword, by the way, too. Just in case y'all motherfuckers wondering. Yeah, I got real, I got real martial art weapons, man. I got a real nunchucks. Real sword. Um, goddamn, I ain't got no bow staff yet. I got ninja stars too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't wear this hoodie and shit and just be talking shit. I actually do know a little martial arts my damn self. Y'all think I'm bullshitting? Come test me. I'll show you motherfuckers. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to clear that shit up. But anyway, alright, man. Y'all have a good time. God bless, man. Always remember, think for yourself and don't drink the motherfucking Kool Aid. Peace.